Welcome to Technophobic Synonymous. This is Randy Belker. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Chrome, Google Chrome, a browser, uh, how to get it, how to download it, how to get it on your computer, and how to start using it. Um, now this software, this browser, is fairly new. Uh, the more I use it, the more I find out about it, the more I get excited about it. It's great for beginners. Uh, it's very stable. It's very solid. Um, so it's what I'm going to be teaching and I'll be putting it out there uh, for you. Let's go ahead and take a look. On my computer, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. So, uh, this is what Internet Explorer looks like. Um, it pops up and it connects right to the Internet. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and search. I'm going to go to uh, Google. Uh, actually, I want to search up here in the command line. Google Chrome. Uh, notice down here the second um, res response that comes back here says Google Chrome, www.google.com. That's the one I'm going to want. I'll go ahead and click on that, and it'll take me over there to Google Chrome. Um, on this uh, page, uh, there's a button here. Uh, it says uh, Download Google Chrome. It's free and installs in seconds for Windows Vista, XP, um, Security Pack 2. Okay, so if you have either of those, uh, Vista or XP, Security Pack 2, then go ahead and click that button and it starts to download. Now it's going to go through the terms of service right here, um, but you basically you just accept those and, and install it. And what it'll do is it will uh, install Google now onto um, your computer. <clears throat> Popped up another window here. Uh, let's click Run. Do you want to run this software? Uh, it's going through and doing. Google Chrome installer should complete in seconds and start your new browser automatically. All right, it's giving me uh, Windows Explorer is not letting me download it here. I clicked on uh, a button here that says. Uh, you're having problems. If you're having problems, click this button. Now look at it. Do you want to run or save this file? I want to run this file. So I go ahead and I'm going to click that and it will continue downloading it. Do you want to run this software? It's asking me double check and to make sure it's not a virus. I'm not doing something I don't want to do. Uh, and I do want to run it. I, I, I'm pushing run. Uh, <clears throat> and we'll see what. Uh, now we have the Google Chrome installer starting to download it, starting to put it on my machine here. Um, now, if you have a um, a connection over the phone, this might take a long time. Uh, this program is fairly large. Uh, if you have a broadband connection through your cable or um, satellite, it should go it should go fairly fast. Um, uh, but if you're, it could take significant amount of time if you're if you're trying to go over a phone line to download a, a program this big um, okay now we've come to a window where it says welcome to google chrome google chrome is ready to complete your installation google chrome will do these tasks import bookmarks passwords and other settings from mozilla firefox it will add google chrome shortcuts to your desktop quick launch bar and start menu uh, and it will make Google Chrome the default browser. Um, and I want to all that stuff to happen, so I'll go ahead and click the button, Start Google Chrome. All right. uh, so Chrome's going to go off and do that. <clears throat> all right, Google Chrome is now installed. Um, <clears throat> it's asking me right here, um, Basically, it's telling me how to start searching. You search right from this command line at the very top. Um, Chrome uses your default search engine, which currently is set to Google. Do you want to keep your default search engine? Yes, absolutely. Keep Google as the default search engine. Um, <clears throat> absolutely. Uh, but now I'm set up. This is the uh, downloaded Google Chrome. And in the next video, we'll take a look at how we can take this 
and start uh, surfing the internet safely and quickly. All right, thanks. We'll see you next time.